What is poppin' guys? It's your boy Steven, and today we are here for our week 7 battle of the APA Academy versus uh, my boy Silver Smasher and the Floridian Typhlosions. Um, we are both 6-0, and and this is going to be a good one. So make sure you go check out Silver after this. He is one of my best friends. He's a great guy. Uh, his team consists of the Garchomp, Ferrothorn, Arcanine, Umbreon, Swellow, Drapion, Mega Blastoise, Azelf, Azumarill, Cofagrigus, and Stunfist. Uh, my team for him consists of, first off, we have Panther the Landers with the Fly and MZ, Intimidate, Fly, Rock Polish, Earthquake, and Swords Dance. Um, this investment is, let's see. Right. This investment so I live two HP Isis from Garchomp or to Aqua Tails after an Intimidate. Um, the speed was to outspeed a Mega Blastoise creeping. What was it on my team that I had that was really slow? Right. Never mind. So this speed is to outspeed an Arcanine and a Drapion creeping a Lando that is creeping a Mega Blastoise. So if Lando, if so basically, I'll put it this way. If Mega Blastoise went to 100, he would think I would put my Landers to 101. So he would put those two speed tiers at 102. So I would go to 103. That's basically how this works or what my thought process is. Um, next up, we have uh, Shiozaki, the Sarina with Leftovers, Queenly Majesty, Power Up, U-Turn references. This is max HP, 100 defense, 68 attack, 4 special defense, and 84 speed with a jolly nature. Um, the... Speed is for the Blastoise, I believe. Make sure. No. My speed is to outspeed a max timid Azu. Timid Jolly. Jolly Azu uh, at max speed. The attack is so I Oko it every time with Power Whip. Um, I also Oko and make a Blastoise with this attack after with a Power Whip. Um, and the defense is just so I can take a Banded Play Rough in case he decides to not click a water move. Um, and then obviously he cannot pick me off with Aqua Jet because of Queenly Majesty. Next up we have Dick Pinch to make a Pinsir, Aerial Late, Return, Earthquake, Quick Attack, Close Combat. Um, 68 HP, 252 Attack, 4 Defense, 4 Special Defense, uh, 180 Speed with a Jolly Nature. This is to uh, outspeed, I believe, the... Um... It's either Drapion with max speed or Garchomp creeping something. I believe it's Garchomp creeping something on my team that is base 90. I think... No, this is uh, creeping a Garchomp that's creeping a Landorus. Sorry, I did this battle like two weeks ago, so I'm trying to remember what everything was exactly for. Um, next up, we have Barbie the Toxpikes. Toxic Spikes, Surf, Ice Beam, Recover. Uh, max HP, 84 defense, and 172 physical defense. Um... I remember this set. This set was to avoid a three-hit KO from Blastoise Dark Pulse, as well as the defense investment was there, so I live a one Garchomp hit a little bit better. Pretty self-explanatory. Ice Beams for the Garchomp. Surf is for everything else. I don't want to Scald Burn things because I want Toxic Spikes. Um, next up we have Life Orb, Coma O, Cuddles, uh, Soundproof, Clanging Skills, Focus Blast, Poison Jab, Stealth Rock. I needed a Rocker. Uh, I couldn't fit it on Landorus. So I went with, come on, uh, 68 HP, 84 defense is to live any Garchomp dragon move after like a spike, like a dragon claw, not an outrage. Um, special attack is so we punch holes in things and 100 speed with a naive nature outspeeds, I believe. Um, no speed, Arcanine and... Drapion, I think. Pretty short. Um, and then for Spadef, Spadef, just because even though it's we're, we're lowering it with the nature, we still want to be able to take maybe some hit a little bit better. Um, clanging Skills is there to just wall break. Focus Blast is there to hit the Ferrothorn. That's his only Clanging Skills switching. And Poison Jab is there to hit Azu, which is his other Clanging Skills switching. So we have super effective coverage for each of the mons that can switch into Clanging Skills. Um, and last but not least, we have Tokoyami, the Weavile, uh, Choice Bandit, Adamant, Ice Shard, Ice Sickle Crash, Poison Jab, Knockoff. Um, max Attack, Adamant, I believe, was to outspeed. Uh, I don't know, because this actually makes no sense to me what we're outspeeding. I think it's probably an Azelf creeping a Mega Pinsir. Definitely, exa that's exactly what it is. It's an Azelf creeping a Ma uh, uh, 
Mega Pinto. So, let's get into it, and let's hope we can come out with the dub. So, as you can see, he brought the Azelf, the Pharaoh, Arcanine, Azu, Garchomp, Blastoise, and basically what I expected. So, we're going to go ahead... And I wanted to get my rocks up right away because Arcanine was a problem for Weavile as well as Pinsir. So if I could get rocks up and I could deal with that Arcanine, that was my plan. So I'm going to lead Kamo. He's going to lead OG Albina, which is the Azelf. Um, so I predict like a lead Azelf because he led with it, obviously. So I think he was going to click Stellar Rocks. So I figured it was fine for me to trade rocks with this thing. So I go ahead and click rocks. He hard switches. I guess thought I was going to go into like Weavile and he was going to catch me turn one. I thought about it, not going to lie, but we just stayed in and we clicked stealth rocks. So we have our rocks up and his removal is just the Blastoise. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Kang Clang Scales. There's nothing this guy can really do to me. Uh, if he burns me, that's fine. And that's going to be a clean, clean to it KO. Um, he's actually going to go right for the Dragon Pulse. So out of everything he could have done to me, that was probably the worst one because we are minus special defense nature. It's gonna do a lot. Um, however, we are going to just fire off another clanging scales, no big deal. He's gonna hard withdraw the Arcanine and he's gonna go into the Ferrothorn. Um, at this point, we're gonna do a little bit of damage, but not too much. Um, and, oh no, no, I went for Poison Jab there, predicting Azu. So either way, Clanging Scales went a dumb much. Poison Jab did nothing, not a big deal. We're gonna Focus Blast and we're gonna pop his Chapel Berry. Um, and he goes for the Gyro Ball, I believe. Yeah. No, he went for the Iron Hit, same same difference. But we're gonna live that. And at this point, I didn't think he would throw away the Ferrothorn, so I clicked Jab, expecting Azu, but he stays in and he gets up a Spike. Um, so it kind of sucks, because, but we do have a removal, so not a big deal. Um, but it, I wish we just didn't have to deal with it. But either way, we're going to go for Focus Plus next turn. We're going to take out the Ferrothorn. And our Kamo is going to drop to Life Orb Recoil. So, um, he did his job. He got up rocks. He did half to an Arcanine, and he killed a Ferrothorn, which is more than I expected him to do. So, not a big deal. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to go into Shi Ozaki. And I'm going to click U-Turn, and I'm going to see what he wants to do. I live any one hit. Um... He's going to go for his own U-turn, and I probably should have clicked Spin here, but I guess I didn't want Arcanine coming in for free, which uh, he doesn't go into Arcanine, though. He does go into the Garchomp, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for U-turn. Spin would have been an awesome play here, but um, we're going to take the Rough Skin, and we're going to go back. So our Serena is hurting big time. We're going to go into Tokoyami the Weavile. And I know he's not staying in on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click a banded poison jab on the Arcanine or the Blastoise. One of those two has to be coming in. Um, he's gonna go into Just Carrot the Blastoise and I'm gonna go ahead and get off my banded poison jab. Um, now, I crit him here and I don't know that I crit him. Wait, I don't crit him? What? Never mind. Uh, anyway, when I was calculating that damage, um, that damage was like for an offensive Blastoise, but I think I was calculating Mega, maybe something, I don't know. But either way, I thought he was offensive, so I went into Tox Specs here instead of um, going into Sarina. Which kind of sucks because I could have got my spin off as he went for his spin. Um, we would have outsped the Mega Blastoise because he didn't have speed in there. Um, but my calc showed that it did a lot more than it would have done if he was max fizz dev, so I did think he had some speed. Um, either way, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click Surf as he is going to click Refresh. And this gets a little stally because he can't touch me, so I kinda get greedy and try to get up like a T-Spikes. This whole sequence, I could have gone into Serena and got my spin off, and it would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. But at this point, he goes into the Garchomp, and I click Toxic Spikes. Now, um, I don't think Garchomp is going to go straight for the Earthquake. I think he's either going to SD, I think he's going to do anything else. So I go ahead and I click for the, uh, I click my Ice Beam. Even if he went for straight Earthquake, I lived one. Um, but I had a Landorus in the back. I really didn't think Earthquake was going to be his play. So we go ahead and we click the Ice Beam here, and... 
We do a fucking ton to this guard chomp. Uh, next turn, he's gonna pop the, yeah, pop the devastating Drake on us. Uh, we are bulky enough to always live this, um, and we are gonna kill him out, kill him outright with an ice beam. So we're gonna see the pretty, the pretty cool devastating Drake animation. He's gonna launch this big purple thing and blow up our tox specs. Tox specs live. Tox specs eats. Tox specs is not worried about no guard chomps. Uh, so we're gonna pick up a kill on the guard chomp with tox effects, not something you see every day. Um, so we're gonna get a little HP with our black sledge and he's gonna go back into Blastoise and I recover up on this thing as he gets poisoned from our toxic spikes. Now, if I surfed, um, I don't think I killed him. Uh, we'll, we'll find out actually. Because it's not like it matters though, because he went for spin first. So I was trying to rethink about something, but it doesn't matter. So he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna go ahead and get the spin, and he's going to get rid of the spikes. And now he's gonna go ahead and get rid of his poisoning as I click another layer of toxic spikes. Now, right here, I know that he is going to rapid spin, and I could have went Serena and recovered, got my health back, or um got off my rapid spin but I just don't do it and I'm too afraid to make the play every single turn each one um, because every time I go for T-Spikes he is going to click rapid spin and I can get my Serena in on it safely every time but I am just too afraid to make the play during the battle for no reason I was really afraid of Azu counter sweeping me and I played super safe around it and I didn't need to. I needed to go Sarina here and I needed to get this spike away. Um, you guys will see why obviously later on, but just know that I had a chance to get the spikes and the rocks away this whole this whole sequence. Every time I click T spikes, he's gonna click rabbit spin and there was no reason for him not to, but there was so much reason for me to go into Sarina every time and get his hazards away. I stay in and I take him out with my Tox specs and he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna go into Azel. Um, I'm gonna stay in and I believe I just surf. I believe I surf to get damage off. Yeah. So he goes for Psychic and I'm gonna click Surf. I didn't want him to like be a nasty plot variant or anything like that. So we click Surf and we get our damage. Um, he takes a good amount, not too much, but a good amount. Um, he's going to go for Psychic, and he's going to take out our Toxapex. Now, at this point, I was maybe starting to think Choice Scarf, but um, I didn't think... I mean, I knew it could come, and I hear I do like end up kind of assuming Choice Scarf. So, I go ahead and I click Banded Poison Jab, because Arcanine lives to Ice Shards. So, we do have to click Poison Jab here. And... We go ahead and we click Poison Jab. Now, he's going to go back into Arcanine next. Or uh, go back into Azelf next. And I probably, looking back, 1 million percent should have went into Sarina. But again, I was just playing around the Azu poorly and I was too scared of it sweeping me. So, I let my Weavile die here. And that is going to be the beginning of the end. When I let Weavile die here, I could have just sacked off Sarina to the U-turn and had Bandit Ice Shard in the back. Um, we let Weavile go down. And this is obviously for sure when I knew as Alpha Choice Scarfed, but he's gonna go ahead and go into me. And I'm the Azu. So I'm gonna go into, and I'm gonna go into Landorus. I'm gonna get the Intimidate off. And even if he's Bandit, I live an Aqua Jet. Uh, no problem. I actually live two Aqua Jets. So um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop the Z Fly and potentially potentially kill this Azu here. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do just that. And we get to see my Z move animation here. Um, it's going to be Landry's mean mugging, staring down this little little lemon. And we're going to sky strike it. We're going to fly up and we're going to come on down and blow him up. Um, but he lives on one and <laughs> gets a citrus berry. So, 
he is, uh, but he does not aqua jet us, thankfully. So we do pick him up here with the earthquake. Um, and now he has scarfed as elf versus Landorus, um, Serena that dies to it and Pinsir that after spikes and rocks has a chance to die. So he's going to go ahead and click psychic. I don't know if this was a roll. I think Landorus died to it. It was, he was modest. Um, now here's where you guys are seeing that if I just saved, if I just saved Weavile, if I just saved Weavile, he couldn't even lock himself in to psychic, but he's going to go ahead and the best we hope for is that Pinsir either crit quick attacks or I live this roll. Um, and because I failed to remove the hazards, we have to take the psychic and we do not get the roll. Spoilers. So we are going to drop to the Azel. And then we have Sarina that should have rabbit spinned earlier on the Blastoise and we would have won the game. But um, alas, we played bad and we lost because of it so definitely a bad taste in my mouth after this one I had the ability to win the game I made the plays to win the game and well I didn't make the play to win the game I made all the other plays to put me in a position to win except I didn't go Sarina on the Blastoise and I did not take my free spin um, it's my own fault so I can't be upset with Silver or anything. He played a good game and he's uh, still one of my good friends. So he's going to go to 7-0. and oh. We are going to go to 6-1, and one, I believe, even though we lost. We are still tied with him in differential. So if we win uh, next week and he slips up, um, we would be back in first place. But uh, we do suffer our first loss of the season in APA Academy. Next week we play Kurt the Buzzwell. And yeah, should be a fun one. Uh, I'll see you guys back here for that. Peace.